Hey everybody and welcome to Corova Entertainment Let's Watch and today we've got a really special treat. Um, this is one that uh, neither Akomi or I have seen and it came up and I was like um yeah I know this is a notoriously bad movie and so I, I, I was like let's, let's do this one. Um, so of course with me is Akomi and special guest. Yes. So, and the special guest is the one who's really responsible for this because Akomi <laughs> and I watched a trailer for a Lucio Fulci movie, Fulci movie called The Beyond. And I was talking to our special guest and I was like, hey, uh, we're going to do a less watch and, you know, we want you to join us and we're going to either do The Beyond or we're going to do this. Well, I don't know, why do I always try to keep the movie, like, in suspense? I don't know. The, obviously... The title is Yeah, right the title the is video. right there. Yeah. That's yes. why. In yeah. fact, I can guarantee you that's why you got, you're you getting the clicks you're getting now <laughs> is because people think the special guest star is Pamela Anderson. Uh, well, you know, I would actually drink after you. Yeah. So, first of all, uh, yeah, so Ouch. this is, this is uh, J.O. Bowyer. Uh, I feel different being called a special guest now that I've heard <laughs> what special people are. Um, but, um, so Turk came to me and said, uh, hey, we want to look at the beyond. We want to do a let's watch of the beyond. So the first thing that I thought was, I was like, okay, well, a couple of years ago, I remember there being some shitty sci-fi movie <laughs> called the beyond that came out. I, I feel like I saw it on, like, some uh, VOD service or whatever. I didn't watch the movie, but I saw the title. And then I was like, is he talking about the Lucio Fulci <laughs> Italian splatter film, The Beyond? Because, like, I'm not going to be, like, the defense lawyer for those movies, but I really like those movies. And they're they would be difficult to podcast, believe me. And, and in addition, The Beyond is a second in a loose trilogy of movies, so you would be even more confused. Huh. So the second option to keep every, to get rid of all the tension in the room was Barb Wire. <laughs> so I picked Barb Wire because I was like, I, I do remember it somewhat. Surely Turk182 has seen this movie. I have not uh, seen it. And don't so, call me Shirley. Yeah, so that alone... As soon as you said that, I was like, there's no fucking contest. We're watching Bar Bar. <laughs> so uh, before before we jump into this, I just have to say, my very first exposure to to Pamela Anderson was her sex tape. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because I grew up in an extremely conservative Christian house and was also too young for Pamela Anderson, really. I yeah. was too busy like catching all the Pokemon to worry about like any of her stuff. So, like achieving adulthood and independence and like kind of trying to catch up on all the culture that you miss growing up in an extremely conservative Christian house. I just kind of found out about her at the same time that I found out about the sex tape and was like, well, yeah, I'll start there. <laughs> well, we're talking about, you know, boys becoming men sort of story. <laughs> Uh, I also grew up in a fairly conservative house. Specifically, the road, but okay. yeah. Specifically, I grew up in a conservative house that did not have cable. Ah. So that was really God has only so much influence. Once you don't have cable, though, then you're truly <laughs> cut off. I think it's well, interesting. We only had Christian television yeah. for about half. Yeah. The time. So, so I did have friends that had cable, and I was full tilt into the Baywatch. Uh, uh, phenomena, you know, explosion. So, so, I think it's interesting whenever I hear you talk about your, your, like, ch childhood uh, yeah. upbringing, that you're like, where I lived, not only did we not have cable, but you only have, a, like, two channels you could actually get on TV. We, yeah, in my particular house, we could get ABC, Channel 13, and we could get NBC in black and white. <laughs> Damn. On a color TV, this wasn't a black and white TV, but I did actually have a black and white TV until I was about seven. So, like, the color, I was in the, I knew color TV after black and white. But, um, yes, so I got two channels, but only one of them was in color. Damn. Yeah. Because I remember we were talking about, like, TV shows we watched as a kid or whatever, and you're like, I remember, I knew that show came on, but we couldn't get it. Yeah, because we couldn't get it. We couldn't get that channel. Yeah, so, so, take. Anything, the Fox movement, Simpsons, 
the whole fight. Fo- I completely got left out of that. So oh, yeah. I missed uh, the the first part of the Fox movement because it was cable only. Yeah, it was cable only. So yeah, it was the first season of Mar- first season of Married with Children, the I think Tracy Ullman show, yeah. um, the TV series Werewolf, um, which I, I really want to find that TV series because I know it wasn't the best series, but the werewolf makeup was really good. It was done by Rick Baker, and it was kind of a cool series. And the ending of the first season, which I only had one season, was really good. But all those shows were Fox was only as a it wasn't a cable channel, but you could only get it through cable. Until like the next year, and then it came out everywhere. Um, so I missed all that too because I didn't have cable, but yeah. I did have that. And I remember like I would watch um, at late at night you know, when the airwaves were clear, you know, uh, which is kind of weird now because there it's like digital now. So there's no such thing as like you know tuning or whatever. Yeah, I, I think literally you can just go on a YouTube and pull up a ten hour video of the you know, end of broadcast screen yeah, with yeah, the yeah. tone. If you if you want to relive those times. <laughs> yeah, but I used to at night I would sometimes like just just tune, you know, to, to kind of go. Just through, try like, to find shit. Like right. just yeah, literally do like fucking ham radio shit. And would, and, would, yeah. and pick up like a channel from the next town over. Yeah. Nice. And would watch their syndicated T V. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was different. It could be different. Yeah. So it was, it was it was kind of funny, but you could only get it from, you know, like eleven to maybe like four in the morning, and then once people started turning the TVs on, then they have, you know all the signals got blocked. Yeah, and, wow. So what was your Turk? What was your Pamela Pamela Anderson? Uh, like, uh, uh. So I like Pamela Anderson, and I still think though, even though I'm a boob guy. I I think that Wait, her, even though you're a boob guy, even though I'm a boob guy, <laughs> okay. Right? I still think that the Pam Anderson I like was the oh, first season Home Improvement. Oh, okay, yeah. So, you know, back when she still had, she was very attractive. She was pretty, but she still had some of that wholesomeness to her. Uh huh. Um, now, oh, you're one of those guys. Yeah. Now here's the thing: when you know. I, I think I've said before, maybe not on this, but you know, I used to have a subscription to Playboy when I was in high school, and she was uh, she was a playmate, and uh, but then later when her popularity really blew up because of Baywatch and all that stuff, yeah. she was on the cover of the magazine quite a bit regularly. Mm-hmm. She was like almost every other cover she was on there, um, so I got to see her a lot. And as as she her popularity grew, you know, she was she was still attractive, but it was like she. Change from being the really hot kind of girl next door um, to like this kind of sultry like sex symbol. Yeah, like Marilyn Monroe kind of thing. To this overdone, yeah. you know. And when when she got involved with Tommy Lee, I was just like, yeah, you've. It's kind of like when, uh, as much as well, I, she's she's got issues now, so I'm not going to really blame <laughs> that on her. But um, Rose McGowan. Dug me some Rose McGowan until she hooked up with Marilyn Manson. I'm like, sorry, baby, you tainted. <laughs> yeah. Not, not, like not even Robert Rodriguez can wash that away. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Anyways, so we should jump into this. Yeah, we can't. We can't stay on a downer too much. Yeah. So for those uh, for those watching <laughs> along with us, which you really should be, because otherwise you're just listening to us talk about in reaction to this movie. We are on the Rogue Pictures logo. We are gonna hit start on the count of three, and we'll go from there. So, Turk, you got the remote. Want to count us in? Oh, okay. Uh, I was, was going to say, we're, we're, yeah, all right. Um, okay, so one, two, three, go. It's not one, two, three. It's one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay. okay. One, two, three. See, I actually wasn't going to do that joke this time. <laughs> I always, always do the lethal weapon thing, you know, to him. Right. So, so, Steel Harbor 2017, the second American Civil War. Holy shit, this is tomorrow. Shit, we, we missed the second Civil War, guys? <laughs> Good thing I put the uh, subtitles on. But if all that's there is chaos and crime, then what do you need fucking mercenaries for? Yeah, right. (laughs) Like, mercenaries don't hire other mercenaries. You know, I... Propaganda film. (laughs) I watched those words come up on the screen, and I looked at them, but I swear I didn't read any shit that that, that (laughs) said. 
it, it begins already good. This is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we, this is the music video intro. We've got uh, Django Fett, a.k.a. Aquaman's father, in here, which is awesome. <laughs> so, I, so we're talking about, uh, hey, Jack Noseworthy. So Jack Noseworthy, I'm not sure if you guys remember, because I'm a little bit older than you guys, but um, he, the first thing I remember him being in was an MTV uh, TV series called Dead at 21, where he had a microchip in his head, and he was going to die when he turned 21, and he was trying to find a way to get it out of his head. It sounds really cool. Um, so I like how this is, this is starting off... <laughs> Clint Howard. Clint uh, Howard. This is, this is starting off with her dancing in the water with... Like, the water spraying all over her. her okay, I was going to say... It's they're teasing you like you're gonna see oh, the tits, yeah, yeah, yeah. but but now we are actually seeing a little bit of nipple flashing through, but then we're not. But then it's like, but we've 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 seen we've seen her, we, we've seen her. <laughs> so I'm not really quite sure what the tease is for here. And I gotta say, uh, Akomi, you talked about the uh, the Pam sex tape thing. Yeah, yeah. I because it was such a big deal. I I tried to watch it. That was one of the most boring ass things. I'm, I'm like, holy shit! This, this is more shaky camera than a Blair Witch. I'm yeah, like, it was, yeah, it was bad. It was yeah. bad, but it was like it was just normal sex between two very hot people. Pretty but much, I mean, yeah. it was normal. It was it was just like two nor <laughs> two hot people showing that like sex is just the same thing no matter how hot you are you know and they kept making a big deal about like tommy lee's dick was like it's so big have you seen it's so big i'm like i, I really i don't think i saw anything i mean like the whole time i was like i i, I think yeah. the only thing i remember is them being on the boat on the outside yep, of the deck yep. and him like talking about a bunch of shit i don't think i don't know who was expecting pamela anderson to hook up with someone with a tiny dick so right. <laughs> <clears throat> Did she just kill that guy with her stiletto? There's no way you could kill someone with a stiletto. <laughs> so you well, could. No. She just did. <laughs> you could put a stiletto through someone's skull, but it's not going to kill him. It went in like half a centimeter. How is he dead? <laughs> Screenplay by Chuck Farrar? Come on. <laughs> Come on. So, uh, I gotta say, her sex tape was bad. It was definitely better than the Paris Hilton one, though. I didn't watch the Paris Hilton one. I, I know that it was in a, like a hotel room. It's in a hotel night room with a night vision the cam. World, your oyster. Oh god. Well, okay. Yeah, when you when always... you look at her, she has no personality and she drones. Can you imagine? I mean, you could have like put blonde hair and lipstick on a plank of wood, and you wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. <laughs> nah. The only thing I remember about the Paris Hilton sex tape is like they turn on this like crappy, grainy night vision camera. He's like. Look at the TV, babe. What do you see? And she's like, me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so stupid. I, I swear, I saw part of that, and they put the night vision, and of course her eyes are glowing like a cat, and it's the <laughs> night vision. And the only thing I can just imagine is Paris Helton going, Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I'd fuck yeah. me so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't there a phone ring that rings her in the middle of it, and they have a conversation or something? She I, like orders I pizza don't, I don't know, because I didn't get uh. that far. I, uh, I I, I think I was like, I'm gonna watch real porn or something. <laughs> like, wash the taste out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was a big thing about Paris Hilton had a uh, storage locker that she let, uh, she didn't pay, and so it went to auction, and somebody bought it, and inside was all this shit, including a bunch of, uh, <laughs> a bunch of, I guess mail from her, from her doctor, and that she had like herpes. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> and I, I just remember I I never I didn't, well, I didn't I didn't like research it any further to see how real that was. But because I, I just remember as much money as you have and you can't pay a fucking storage bill, like really. Well, because you're spending all your money on those uh, anti herpes antibiotics or whatever. I thought that's what the simple life was for. No, uh, that was for drug money. Uh -oh. Yeah, Simple Life was totally drug money. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, so the weird thing is, like, this movie has already started off with your first two kills. I'm assuming that was a kill. Both right in the forehead. Are, are like, pinpoint middle of forehead projectile impacts. Do you know how fucking hard it is to, like, shove a blunt object through the center of someone's skull? Yeah, it's, it's incredibly difficult yeah, because yeah. that part of your skull is built to not let things go through it. 
So it's like 96 pounds of pressure per square inch to break human bone. So, yeah, that's yeah. not going to... I mean, the the dart would have shattered. It would have, like, in the shoe, the shoe would have shattered oh, and, yeah. like, vaporized. Okay, so... So this girl is, was in a meat locker, but it wasn't cold in the meat locker. Yeah, there was no, there was no uh, like, uh, icy uh, breath or anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's got this this fucking Rorschach grappling hook gun. Where did she I like those I, wonderful toys? I love that they get the Batman reference out of the way. <laughs> right. Like the only thing that would make this movie better is if it had a black scorpion reference. <laughs> I like how she knows exactly the right length for the the grappling hook. <laughs> she didn't bother to put the guy's body in the well, it wasn't there a silencer on that gun? Why is it yeah, looking at the Come on. They don't really put silencers on uh, guns in movies anymore. It's not, a, it's not like a movie movie sh- uh, shtick like it used to be. And, okay, so... Uh, Oh, okay. She, 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 she wouldn't have to run to get away from them. She had just put in the body, guy's body and put it in the uh, in the freezer. Yep. And the way this guy's holding a briefcase obviously shows that he's up to no good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, he's totally going like to use who, it for who old, I think Pam's already figured that out, though. She could have put on some, like, getaway clothes. <laughs> Those are her getaway clothes. <laughs> She's like, I thought I was overdressed for this. I mean, that's an incredibly lucrative night's work. Yeah. <laughs> like, the tires off of that car would have been an incredibly lucrative night's work. Uh, she, they keep mentioning it's the year 2017. I like that last night Turk, you referred to this as a historical film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a shithole. I like her, her kind of film noir... <laughs> like narrative narration there. Right. I want to. I want to like cut that with Mar from Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cut it with uh, Doctor Manhattan soliloquy from Mars. <laughs> right. Goddamn modern cars all look like electric shavers. <laughs> Is that the guy that was like the bad guy in the mask? It's been... I haven't seen The Mask in, like, 23 years. Okay. Isn't that the guy that raped Ving Rhames in Pulp Fiction? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I don't remember The Mask, but I remember Ving Rhames getting raped. <laughs> Who could so, so, how did they get her hair to splay <laughs> right. perfectly... Uh, I mean, look at that. <laughs> that is literally like, okay, we're going to put this mind reading device on her, but we have to pull every strand of her hair <laughs> perfectly in a perfect 270 degree, like, you know. I, I can't focus on the hair too much because I'm distracted by this, like, cyborg punk bikini. Well, I was going to say, so apparently this is where the board came from. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, because she totally has like a crotch like electrical plug. Okay, so next ah. next chick I hook up with is gonna need to have a cyberpunk outfit it's like, like but, this. But it, your hair has to be perfectly like <laughs> fucking uh, uh, not flamingoed. What's peacocked? It's gotta be like peacocked. <laughs> Take this hair gel. <laughs> yeah, I want to see her stand up, and I want to see her hair not <laughs> not fall back. Like just stand up Continuous. with her. Yeah, like the. Like the guy from Babylon 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, of course they're gonna... Her. Of course they're gonna find her. You can't smoke in an operating room. Man, 2017 is a lawless place. I can't, I can't. Lawless time. Is, is he holding a cigarette in, like, a European fashion, or just in a very effeminate fashion? I, I, <laughs> I, I would imagine European. What's the difference, Turk? Oh, no, sorry. You good point. Remember it was a while before you found out what fag meant. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cigarette. Oh, they're, they're wheeling the, the bikini chick away. Oh, too bad. They're like... I wonder if they made toys of this movie. <laughs> What an action figure! Of I mean, it, it couldn't. I mean, well, I guess, I guess they could have. Oh, but not the toys you're thinking of. 
is she like a 220 voltage or that was a 220 plug okay. the crotch plug that was totally a 220 <laughs> plug so those like the 220 plugs that i remember from a job i used to have where they were twist locks uh -huh. so you would plug it into her JJ and then you would twist it to lock it in I mean, that's what I always do. Yeah. So this this movie is actually ahead of its time. It was uh, it was it was like like a flesh uh, a flashlight before <laughs> there was like you know. But you know what? If we actually took the dick out and made it for guys, guys, <laughs> we've gotta we've gotta <laughs> hit on our hands. Now I I believe you already have a story like this, so I'm not asking for that, but. You know, I like how on the flashlight they put on their dishwasher safe. Like, I'm ever going to fucking put that in the dishwasher. Yeah. Well, you put it in the dishwasher with all your other sex toys that are dishwasher safe. Then I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have, to have a dishes. separate dishwasher. <laughs> well, you can get one of those half dishwashers, but what do you? how do you wash the other 23 sex toys you have? Are That's you true. telling me you only have the single flashlight? That's oh. fucking lonely, dude. All right, so it's fucking lonely, man. Don't tell, don't tell people you only have the one. Be like, I've got this flashlight. You know, she's darker complexion skin, and this flashlight's my goth flashlight. She's pale and kind of veiny. You know, here's, here's, here's the thing with, with the flashlight, right? Is you know, I've had sex before, okay, and 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 I've masturbated before, and hey, look. Debo. I was gonna say the president. Um, oh, for Fifth Element. Well, yeah, but you know. But uh, I was thinking from the Smooth Criminal video. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Michael Jackson? <laughs> no, the, the, the one I mean, that the grabs, hat looked the, exactly one that grabs the, the the pool the pool ball like crushes it and then blows it in his face. Oh yeah. So uh, so okay, so after you know after after I'm done, you know. Uh, making the donuts, right? I'm rolling over and going to bed. The last thing I want to do is get up, and go to the bathroom, the dishes. <laughs> and and then like clean out the flesh. I mean, imagine if you know if like after you had sex with a real woman, she's like, all right, now now take me to the <laughs> bathroom, sink and clean me up. Right? Me up. <laughs> the thing is, is I mean, there are situations where you would have to do that. I guess if, you know she's dead or something. <laughs> Boxing Helena, <laughs> but I'm just saying, hey, because I mean, you can't let it sit. Cause that's just nasty. Oh yeah. Who knows what the hell's growing in there? I mean, yeah, but it's not gonna grow like in the first five minutes. Yeah. You just couldn't let it sit like the next day. I, I don't know. It's, I it's, I, maybe there's like a thing in the instruction book with eight to ten hours. <laughs> I mean, flashlight box of tissue. Flashlight box of tissue. Yeah. Sorry. This guy isn't in a lot of stuff anymore. Yeah, well, hey. yeah, like the 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 male bald guy with the weird eyes. So I was telling uh, when I when I told the uh, hey look it's 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 coming the, the, the insult dog call me to poop poop on. <laughs> um, that was paced perfectly. <laughs> So I was telling Comey last night that when we were talking about the movie, you know, I was saying who some of the people in it. That uh, the first thing I think he was in, and it may have been the first thing, but I think the thing that really brought him like attention, Udo Kier, was uh, Andy Warhol's Dracula, and I believe he played Dracula in it. Yeah. And of course, yeah. he was in Blade. He was one of the yeah. uh, what the vampire vampire dudes. councils yeah. and everything. I think. And, I, uh, yeah, I feel like there's a, yet a third thing he was a vampire in that I'm just probably. not remembering. Yeah. Uh, uh, what we do in shadows. Yeah, TV yeah, series. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, but the thing I, I will always remember him from is he was one of the psychiatrists in Armageddon. Did he have hair in that one? Nope. Okay. His, his whole thing was uh, when they're talking, um, uh, he, he's the one that makes Bear cry. And uh, he's like, just let it out. He's like, you're throwing a lot of stuff in this right now, man. I just... <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Rockhound's like, you know... It's like a uh, woman with large breasts, woman with medium breasts. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. one looks like you with breasts. <laughs> I love Armageddon. I'm sorry. I just say. And this one's Harry tell me it's not good enough. And this is one Harry tell me I can't marry his daughter. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> you can tell this is a good movie when I start quoting lines from other movies. This week. <laughs> so the, at this point, I will say the movie is moving very 
quickly. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I cannot claim that this is a slow-paced or dull movie so far. Yeah, I haven't been bored. With I haven't been bored. Now, they're introducing new people every single scene. That, that is one thing. Yeah, but they're getting rid of him just as quick. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess they got Tommy guns out now. So, I'm just going to say, if, if they shot you point blank... Did you really think you were going to be able to run away and then yeah, not shoot you in the not back? not shoot you in the back. I can't, is, is the girl that was in the back of the car with uh, with Django Fett, was that Gloria Rubin? I, I don't... I think she's kind of a no-name actress. But yeah, I, I guess I can wrong. look her up. I, I know that's Django Fett, for sure. We shot them into oblivion. <laughs> Well, should we they despawn? We can't get yeah, experience now. Like they, they, you know, where did they spawn at? <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, barbed wire became a Bethesda game. <laughs> it's just glitched. This shit doesn't work right. <laughs> Happy to the movie and ran through pale I, script, I could see, with. I could see this bar being a set piece in a Fallout game. Oh yeah. You know, a Fallout game Vegas? that took place in 2017. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Why the fuck did he just put on the... That's his disguise, like that, I guess. The little Debbie-like wig? <laughs> little yeah. Debbie. If you can get a legit box of oatmeal cream pies with that fucking face on it... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will have to say... Her ass looks pretty good in that outfit. Uh, yeah. She looks pretty good in that outfit. I'm just going to be honest. Well, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. her hips are like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. They, they don't lie. Please just cry. They say in old country, why the birthing hips? <laughs> I know. But still, the thing is, is just like, how are you going to conduct, conduct any sort of business in that outfit? <laughs> I can think of some business that should be <laughs> conducted in that outfit. Yeah. I, I don't even know how you like get into that outfit. She's got to have help. Yeah. No, you have to. So the one thing I think is interesting about uh, her outfit and when people talk about like female superheroes, like how do you fight in that outfit? But you don't understand that part of the outfit is it's a distraction. You know, yeah, for, so for, it's not so much as how do I fight in it, it's how do you fight me when I'm in it. Right, it's, because uh, as, as a female hero, or in this case, bounty or whatever it is, you're already going to be, you know, underestimated because you're oh it's just a female and then you dress in sex you say like oh you can't fight plus i'm like damn look at those tits right <laughs> and and so your your mind is like splintered into two or three different things yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but this outfit it, it combined with this woman with pamela anderson lee as she is known in this movie yeah she's gonna be popping out all over yeah she <laughs> you're so over the top that like i wouldn't even know I, I'm trying to think of a way to word this. I wouldn't even know if she was a good guy or a bad guy, basically. Because she looks like a bad guy to right, me. Yeah. Like, she looks like a villain. She looks like the femme fatale. Yeah. I mean, yeah, look she... at that. She's the bad guy. She If if I was a bad guy, I wouldn't shoot her because I'd be like, oh, you're on our yeah, side. She looks like the chick mini-bosses from Double Dragon yeah, who come I... out with the bull whips. Yeah. Holy shit, it's, um... Uh, the, he was, um... He he got, he got turned into the little the diminutive thing in Swamp Thing. What is she showing that she wasn't showing before? <laughs> like <laughs> she opened her trench coat, but she was already tits out. Yeah, <laughs> like that's not how trench coats work. <laughs> anyway, sorry. No, see, he was also uh, um, he was in. I mean, he's been in tons of shit, but I just remember from like Dark Man and stuff. <laughs> yeah, she looks like an Olivia. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I, I still think that cracked that trench coat cracked me up. That was yeah. just like like all you were covering was like the part that's still covered. It's like your your covered midriff. Yeah, you and, you know you've got to have a midget in the movie because it's because <laughs> it's post apocalyptic. Yeah, where everyone knows that radiation like you know makes you. Lose yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, that that means that like if if the villain photocopies their ass, he'll be able to recognize it. Yeah. That's right. God, I know so much. <laughs> the spirit. Uh, is Victoria Rawal. Oh, she was in Dumb and Dumber. So the Dumb and Dumber connection, I've been waiting to make that. Huh. Do you know that Pamela Anderson was in a movie called Blonde and Blonderer with Denise Richards? <laughs> 
and it isn't that old of a movie. I think it's like 2012 or some shit. No, I had it no is idea. a spoof of the aforementioned Dumb and Dumber, Jeez. but it's about two blonde chicks that are dumb, how, and it's you, actually kind of funny. How do you spoof a comedy? <laughs> exactly. All right, so I, I guess gotta say, I think it's a spiritual side story. I don't know. <laughs> spiritual. Side. I, I have to say that uh, Denise Richards, I could still be all about. Yeah, she is super hot. Uh, Doctor Christmas Jones, yeah. give it to me. So speaking of which, Tammy and the T Rex is about to get a four K yeah four K release. release, which is great because that t- her- terrible VHS copy that we watched uh, last year was did not do it justice. I have I have not seen it. Yeah, I like that this guy just has a stack of porn magazines that yeah. he just bought. That's his cover. Can you imagine how bad it was for him? He's, he comes home, he's like, oh, yeah, I got my spank for the night. And yeah. then she, there she is, she's like, shit. Oh, if I had known she was going to be here. I could save like gonna... 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really, I, short of the obvious reason, the stating, like, this statement... I really miss movies like this. <laughs> not oh, yeah. not just for the completely unclothed. Again, taking the like you're not showing anything. You know, we're not already. Showing. <laughs> I guess you just have to wake him up now, won't you? It's back when the gadgets looked like gadgets. Yeah. You know. Why do I feel like saying no more, Mister Nice Guy? <laughs> Okay, so we asked about her. How did he get in that? Yeah. That quickly, no yeah. less. This cameraman knows what he's doing, too. Well, I mean, you can't shoot that body <laughs> without looking like that, you know, without that kind of shot. In fact, I, as a cameraman, I would challenge you to <laughs> not shoot her in a sexual way. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you ha- I mean, if you didn't, then the studio would be like, what the fuck? They look at the, they look at the dailies and they're like, no, no, no. Well, I mean, that's, the thing is, is just like, it, the thing though is that everyone knew going into this movie what it was for. You knew what you were paying for. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, as from the studio's aspect, you're like, all right, we're giving Pamela Anderson two or three million dollars. Every single shot, we have to get our money's worth. <laughs> So, this is based off a Dark Horse comic, and I'm wondering when they were like, we're going to, you know, we're going to make Pamela Anderson the star of this movie. Um, well, it, in the comic, is she like a huge buxom blonde, like lady death buxom looking chick? She's a blonde, but she wears, uh, I, I know she wears like a pink and blue outfit. Okay. Really? That's not going to work because we know those can withstand like nuclear <laughs> war. Yeah, that's not to mention you, that it was clear in. it was clear that the bullets did not penetrate the door. Yeah, you could yeah. still you couldn't see the light coming from the other side. That was that was a giveaway. This old's gonna be mad. You fucked up his house. So, so she can shoot this guy and kill him through a fridge, but this guy can't penetrate shoot through the co- table. Uh, coffee yeah. table. <laughs> I, I like that she gets into the classic comic book pose of yeah. shooting guns. <laughs> That's so that's so image comics, <laughs> but, but the, the thing is that when yeah, she did with that, the the legs yeah. like pointed straight out and she, the other leg kind of like tucked underneath. She completely exposed herself like yeah. outside yeah. the table. <laughs> yeah. She had to get completely out from around the coffee table to do that, and the mattress still hasn't fallen down. <laughs> oh, Ooh, she learned it from Johnny Cage. <laughs> I like that it's all these stock hitting sound effects. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What one thing that I kind of remember loosely about this movie was the uh, all the uh, like advertising and lead up to it. And I remember her being on an episode of like Entertainment Tonight, like pushing the movie. Really? <laughs> and I remember it being a really fucking awkward episode of Entertainment Tonight. <laughs> <sighs> Uh oh. Oh no, he done said it. <laughs> just like a just 
just like a Dago to bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, what did he get hung up on? I don't know. She broke a nail. <laughs> well, you know, she did go into that fight with like two inch nails. I keep <laughs> expecting Judge Dredd to show up any minute now. Yeah. <laughs> Pulled yeah. Nixer on his bike and was like, How's it going, barbed wire? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the Clint you're like, Howard. Wow. You goofy tooth looking bastard. <laughs> I like that your idealized uh, dreaded Turk is the Stallone version. <laughs> How's it going, Bob? How's it going, Bob? Yeah. That's, that's the only version I can imagine being in this Stone movie. Gun. Oh, yeah. yeah not, not the uh, Carl Urban one. <laughs> no. yeah, look at them spindly long fingers. I really, I think that maybe it's part of the comic outfit, but really the giant dog collar is probably like... With the huge loop ring that's like, grab me by this and sling me around, please. <laughs> like, put me on a leash. <laughs> yeah. But so, don't call me babe. <laughs> yeah, don't call me babe. It's like, every part of her costume is meant to, like, tug on. <laughs> I will have to commend her on being able to do all those spin kicks and stuff in high heels. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, and not... Uh, fall over. <laughs> she probably learned it from Chuck Norris. Probably. I mean, I if there were, if there was a stunt woman in these scenes, I sure shit can't tell. I don't know how you stunt woman pa- Pamela Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? get like a real doll on strings. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like Team American. Around. Yeah. <laughs> oh. She's got a spot for the gun. <laughs> I, it's like, so, um, I got some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is, Clint, you're not going to have red hair like Ronnie. Uh, Yay! But the, the bad, bad news. news. <laughs> Everything else. <laughs> Does Clint Howard have a daughter? I don't know. Because Ron Howard's daughter is fucking hot. Yeah. I would say I'm going to guess that. Yeah. Because I'm just imagining if if Ron can make something that good, you know. Yeah, then maybe Clint Howard would have a super hot daughter. Yeah, you know, it's it's, it's like the unbreakable thing. If someone's at this end of the spectrum, someone else is at the other end. <laughs> hey, look. It's, it's low budget Ewan McGregor. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking it was like pre um, Channy Tatum, maybe. Oh yeah, I can <laughs> see the Channy Tatum part. Before, kind of before he learned about steroids, yeah, and just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but not the real good steroids. The one that like they really make you cut and define. The ones just make you like puffy muscular. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so buff I can't fit on the bus. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe that this uh, this party is it the same party? Is is it the same evening? Yeah. She gets shit done, so like huh? this this performance it, chick has been singing for like the past like five action scenes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's like the only house band. It, it's also telling that there's not a lot to read in this movie. There really isn't <laughs> I a don't lot think of dialogue. I really pay attention to the subtitles at all. <laughs> I think it would be doing a disservice to pay much attention to the subtitles yeah. here. I feel like the camera is spinning way too fast. A little bit. It's because they're spinning in the opposite direction, so it's creating the illusion that it's going even faster. Yeah, because the thing about slow dance scenes is that they're so fucking boring. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, wait. Like, wait, wait. that scene was fine until the dude leaned in on her, and then it was like, well, you just got rid of the whole reason of watching that scene. Okay, so she says, do you have a girl back home? He's like, yes, ma'am. He goes, tell you what, close your eyes. And imagine and, I'm her. Right. Yeah, when I when when we're next to each other and I'm still two feet away from you, it's kind of hard for me to imagine because yeah. my girl is not endowed like that. Yeah. If she was, I'd never have joined the military. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fuck service. Like, I, I was show. like, I always like handing people cards like that between the <laughs> index finger and the yeah. middle finger. That cool kind of like swipe thing. Yeah. This is my. Oh, see, he did it back. 
Ouch! It's like, let's hand each other things like they're ninja stars. Like shurikens. <laughs> so are you classified as human? Uh, negative. I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Crushing the fun, man. Yeah. So I uh, found this welding mask and decided to hook an iPad up to <laughs> it. <laughs> Her, her hair completely changed. Yep. She had the part, like, further to the side, and now she's got this weird widow peak thing going on. Different day of filming. Yeah. I, I, this, this, I'm particularly trying to watch her hairstyle, because I think she's had, like, seven hairstyles <laughs> so far. I have it's not lot worked. Than, <laughs> it's a lot better than Kate Marr from Fan Stick. Yeah, I have not worked my way up to the hair to yet. To the hair yet, yeah. yeah. Music! What the, what the, what the fuck? Let me pour you a fish bowl of liquor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh okay. it, it looked like a fucking fish bowl. Well, doesn't not having a screen go against the whole idea of a dressing screen? Yeah. Now it's, just, now now it's, it's like a dressing uh, silhouette. Right, but you can still see through it. Like, I'm seeing nipple here. Well, I mean, for uh, Pamela Anderson, you're just gonna need a fucking canvas tarp. <laughs> okay, I like how she, how she how she is good. How she leans out and covers her tits. I'm like, shit, I've seen everything already. Yeah. Not... Oh, thank, thank good goodness, you put some clothes on there. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is. I think this is her casual bar fucking bar wire <laughs> outfit because it's not the corset. It doesn't have the. It's not the same corset from before. That's true. Okay. Did she? How she look? Look at this poor man's Nick Cage macking on Pamela yeah. Anderson. Yeah. He's been in good stuff. I, I he has can't been. think of I can't think of it off the top of my head. Wouldn't wouldn't you want your 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 magazine clip holder to be right side up, not upside down? So that when you go and well, you yeah, unbutton it doesn't just fall, fall into the ground. Yeah. Well, I guess you're supposed to catch it, but for yeah, sure, I think that's the idea is like a quick so, draw thing. I gotta be like super dexterous and shooting people while trying not to get shot. My... Oh, she changed necklaces too. Because huh. she changed outfits, so I guess that just makes sense. I, I'm sure she's got a whole like dresser full of bling bling. <laughs> So she, I, she's one of the aforementioned mercenaries. <laughs> so I gotta say, from a cinematography standpoint, having moving lights outside it's had kinda, to be fucking hell yeah. to shoot. Yeah. That had to have been so difficult. I wonder if, if that was intentional or they just didn't realize yeah, that the, the, the light was going back was going, yeah. <laughs> Like, as long as it doesn't point directly in the camera, we don't give a shit. Wouldn't go that way if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 all all post-apocalyptic skies have to be like puke uh, red or whatever. Yeah, yeah. puke pink. <laughs> I just love that. Like, Aww, it sounded like two totally unrelated sentences when she said that. <laughs> Is that a Bobo from Double Dragon? <laughs> uh, with hair. I really like the way Bobo looks in the Double Dragon movie, by the way. It's one of my favorite, just weird fucking character designs. I still haven't the seen costume the movie. Designs. I really want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So, like, in, in that one, the Bobo is just gr- it, it is gratuitously swollen. <laughs> I don't know any other word of, of describing it. Uh, and, um... Alyssa Milano looks great. Alyssa Milano looks great. I, mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought that I would have dug her with the shortcut blonde hair like that. No, but yeah, no. She looks great. She yeah, looks that great. was one of the ones that really sold me on like chicks with short hair are really hot. Robert Patrick is a waste of talent. Yeah. Right? Um, and uh, I can't remember her name. Not Tina, but the chick from like One Life to Live. That's that's poison or whatever. The she's the whip wielding. Uh, Linda. Oh yeah, Linda. Linda. 
She doesn't look anything like Linda from the game. <laughs> why? Why is he suddenly now like an Irish? Yeah, cop he's an Irish cop <laughs> on the other side of the thing. Yeah, <laughs> top of the market. That was really? that was his costume. That was his like mi- mix around costume. <laughs> oh sure, you'd be running a legit establishment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she got rid of that dumb, like, cleavage hiding thing. <laughs> See, they're acting like this is some horrible post apocalyptic lawless world to live in, but it's like, well, every woman I've seen is gorgeous. Every woman I've seen is gorgeous. And There's alcohol, just, like, to burn. Just out the ass. Yeah. Oh, okay, so who's making these outfits? Just a thriving economy. And, like,. Because they're all the women are dressed really nicely. They're wearing all these, this, you know, the leather stuff. Yeah. Who's making those? Yeah. There's probably like one extremely gay fashion designer. Yeah. At the top just, of a high I fashion. will design the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. It's my time to shine. What is 2017 is corsets. <laughs> <laughs> corsets and Nazi uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> and one Irish cop. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm agreeing with Akomi on this. He, he just called it a burnt out hellhole. I see nothing hellish about this place. Yeah, this is this is, this really is cool. like a banging fucking bar. <laughs> just all these incredibly gorgeous women just yeah. making out with people on the streets. Maybe the thing is, is maybe the problem is that these are really the ugly women, and we haven't seen the gorgeous women yet. <laughs> You know, uh, think yeah. about that. That's right. It's like, ah, no matter what we do, she's still ugly. <laughs> <laughs> no change. No change. I just. Yeah. Uh, I actually, I actually had something really good to say. Now, now it's gone. <laughs> uh, that's the alternative title for our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's the the DJ guy. Oh, this yeah. is his second scene. I was about to mention him. The that black he, guy in the movie. Well, it, it was I was going to mention the two earrings thing, oh. but yes, yeah, the the only black guy in the movie as well. But uh, he seems completely detached from everything going on in the movie, <laughs> like. Maybe he's you know God in the movie. Oh, does that guy actually have a, a Hitler stash? The guy uh, on the table on the like he's being covered up now by the yeah, dickhead in the hat. I think it was a bit broader than a Hitler stash, but it was close. Yeah. Would you like a Heineken? <laughs> I think that's what's on the table. Or no, it's just a bottle. This movie is giving me a headache. Here, take these. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, little, yellow, yellow different. different. <laughs> uh, and that guy looks like what Tom Hiddleston's going to look like in another 20 years. Yeah, once the schnoz goes south and the <laughs> right. kind of pock, pock face. <laughs> oh, are we going to have yeah. a chick fight on our hands? Surgically altered. You're probably familiar with the process. <laughs> yeah, this was back during the era, and I guess it still persists in like Mission Impossible movies, where like retinal scanning is always like the the fucking lie detector for every problem. <laughs> like you don't know who that person is, retinal scan them. Except for Minority Report. Yeah. Also, except for the fact that whatever record you're using to confirm the retinal scan could be doctored. So, yeah. I never understood the whole, we had to identify them by their dental records. You're assuming that everybody's gone to the fucking yeah. office, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention that that they, they've they already proven that uh, bite marks uh, are not a legitimate, legitimate way. way. Yeah, yeah, they're not yeah, unique so, enough. I mean, dude, this place looks incredibly fucking fun. I, I would I, totally. What hell to... hole are they talking about? <laughs> are you, I saw. I know I was gonna say we were talking about the fashion, and I'm thinking to myself, if sweatshops in the present day are shit, I can only imagine what a post-apocalyptic <laughs> sweatshop is. It's probably all automated. It's, it's probably, probably all like, yeah, or it's actually really sweaty. <laughs> um. 
Th- this is not sweatshop attire, though. This is this is. Des- I mean, look at these yeah, this outfits. This is designer stuff. This is like yeah. custom made shit. <clears throat> You're not gonna pick up garters like that at at just any old store. <laughs> so what are they doing? For- I mean, I keep seeing money being flashed around, but yeah, they, they C- like they have cigarettes jobs. and alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all- cigarettes, alcohol, and clothes. That's the only thing that you can buy in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> and like barely nothing clothing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I fail to see how this is a bad apocalypse. Whatever happened is probably not too bad. Yeah, they dropped the like hot chick bomb. <laughs> <laughs> There's no foot four foot long mosquitoes flying around yeah. trying to suck your blood. Alright, alright, so this dude. Jack Noseworthy? What else has he been in? Event Horizon? Okay, there we go. Just without long hair. No, yeah, it was, he, it was, he did, I think he it was, did have yeah, short hair. It was short. Oh, wait, no skin's not going to work on him. Yeah. We'll have to do the dental records. Oh, <laughs> curse you. Oh, wait, I've never been. There's no dentist in 2017. Even though all these people have perfect teeth, except for Clint Howard. Yeah. And the guy at the beginning. <laughs> Axel is such a 90s name. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a uh, Streets of Rage name. Yeah. Did you call him Axel? I think he said asshole. Axel. <laughs> no, oh. it's Axel. Yeah. I wasn't reading that thing. <laughs> so you guys were talking earlier about how like the, the revealing clothing is uh, part of a distraction tactic. Yeah. Um, My Shiranui from the uh, Fatal Fury fighting games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's she like she bends style. down. Yeah. yeah. She, she, bends she like, down. leans way over and... Yeah, and then she hits you with the fan or whatever. <laughs> Which is also, like, an extremely 90s thing, so it all kind of ties in. Uh-oh. Bum, bum, bum. We're going to see what she might do, because there's no telling what she might do. I don't know. I think she's going to punch him. <laughs> so, see, he lied. You can't tell what she's going <laughs> to yeah, do. Yeah, I know. That was, like, from, <laughs> from the beginning of her walk over. So, apparently, Harley Davidson is still a thing in the future, because that guy was clearly wearing a, wearing a Harley headband. Yeah, motor motorcycles are required for post apocalyptic future. Right, but because they use less gas. But Harley Davidson is still a brand. Yeah, it's, it's who like else is gonna make them? <laughs> of course, like Harley Davidson would be the only company that would survive <laughs> well, yeah. the apocalypse. Yeah, in the in the like uh, you know American, the second American Civil War, <laughs> right. sponsored by Harley Davidson. <laughs> uh. Who's going to pay for the tab? I guess she's just going to write it off. <laughs> well, I mean, there's nothing to spend it on, so... Yeah. This is always, like... I'm getting kind of a little bit of a, like, M. Bison, Raw Julia vibe from this dude. Oh, yeah, I like, can see like that. Like, with the hat and everything, it's just, you know, just... With a Nazi kind of thrown in. Yeah. You can tell that one girl's not from here because she doesn't have any latex on and she's not showing any skin. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking out of towners. <laughs> Take some clothes off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how much this movie takes place in that the hammerhead. Welcome, weary traveler. Would you like to buy, sell, or leave? <laughs> I like how he purposely left and hung outside, hoping they would come by. Yeah, like like, like a Venus flytrap. Like I hope they walk by this exact part of the street, and that I hear and or smell. Yeah, because I can't see them. He's just been like setting up trip wires with soda cans all night. Clang, clang, clang. Is that you? <laughs> I can help you, Django Fett. <laughs> If it's you, I can help. He he walked in there carrying the gun, but didn't bother to check, make sure he wasn't walking to a trap. So you know, everybody was like, oh, well, that gun did you a lot of good, buddy. <laughs> Jimbo, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Jimbo. Gotta put the gas mask on your face. No, I don't want that. (laughs) 
You know how I got these scars? <laughs> I was just about to do that joke. <laughs> Damnation. <laughs> yeah, but it only goes up one side of her face. And really? I think so. He just has a half smile. And, uh, uh, that way when she's like hassling people, yeah. she just says, why so? I don't think that's a <laughs> scar. I think she just fucked her makeup up. She just like ran up the side with lipstick. She just like sneezed while she was putting her lipstick on. Okay, so so she cut part of her face and not really even that deep of a scar. Cause yeah. It doesn't even start at the corner of her mouth. It just starts to like, It starts cheek. a little up, yeah. But somehow she used to use a voice box for that. Does she not know that <laughs> like her, her throat's on her cheek? <laughs> Nobody tells her at this point because, you know, she put all the money into the voice box. <laughs> it'd just be really awkward. Yeah, it'd be really awkward at this point. Why am I expecting Tank Girl to show up any minute now? <laughs> that would make this movie even better. What happened to Lori Petty? I miss her. She's got, like, Maggie Gyllenhaal eyes, but not Maggie Gyllenhaal face. Yeah, her face is, like, wider. Hmm. They keep referencing the character Krebs, and I just keep thinking, So, Krebs, about that secret <laughs> formula? I keep, see, I keep thinking they're saying crab, like yeah, Krabby Patty. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get the secret formula, Clayton. <laughs> what is the point of just that one little patch of hair and growing it out <laughs> real? <well? laughs> Be like, <laughs> It's like the guy from Kill Bill. Holy shit, that's the drug dealer from Predator 2. Yeah, it is. Yeah, except he's like cleaner somehow in this one. He's he's about to be dead. Yeah. Just like in Predator 2. So you're saying I should not grow out a long braided top not like that to well, get my bald head? It's like the guy from Kill Bill 2 is like, you know, he's like, I'm not bald, okay? I shaved my <laughs> head. <laughs> and to prove it, I'm going to just grow a little patch back here <laughs> so you know. <laughs> I'm not fucking around. I like the members of Devo in the background. There. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like it's gonna break out into like new wave any second now. Just wait for it. Through being cool. <laughs> so now he's like the police officer postman. What's what's going on here? Because <laughs> that fashion designer's out there going, I just love a man in uniform. I know. I'll give him a different one. <laughs> I'm from Hammerhead Bar, and I say, kill them all. <laughs> Come on, don't, you can't tell me they look like Starship Troopers. <laughs> Can someone stop the lights? <laughs> I wonder if there's someone that's just pushing the light <laughs> on the other side. Because like, it, ke it keeps coming back the same depth that it, that it left at. It's oh, just... it's because they needed that shot oh, right course. there. That's what they did it for. Okay. I mean, reach like... up and stop the fucking light. <laughs> would the light still be swinging that much at this point? Yeah, yeah. Like, inertia would have stopped. <laughs> he's just, he's but just it, at the other end of the yeah. light, just swinging and going, yeah. and there's some fine-ass titties on yeah. that TV screen, and you ain't looked at them one time. He's just been clocking me. <laughs> I just imagine, like, a guy on the other side, like, a, like dressing like a furry, dressed in a cat suit, just... <laughs> <laughs> the light. Don't push it too hard. Oh, man, you you were the one who made this disturbing turn. <laughs> So I think All right. the, the first time I ever got drunk was on Wild Turkey. No, no, I didn't know that. I didn't tell you the story. Mine, about. mine was Southern Comfort, I think. About yeah. about uh, Ash and I drinking, and I started off drinking. Oh, well, that's her drunk face. That's when she's you know, she's I not. Drinking, she hasn't done herself up yet. Right? Wild Turkey, and he was drinking tequila. Then we switched. Oh jeez. Oh my god. And I was drinking tequila. He started drinking the Wild Turkey. And he had he, the worst of it. He hadn't had he, he hadn't had anything to eat all day because he'd been oh, working. Man, so you haven't heard the story? No. <laughs> and so I feel like there's not gonna be much of a story. I feel oh, like there's it's gonna be like we pass the fuck out. There's a story to it. <clears throat> oh, wow, she joined the military with those big ass tits. <laughs> well, I mean, they, <laughs> no, okay, they, that's the only way she met the she she population. She looked really nice there. She looks really nice absolutely there. beautiful right there. Yeah. Yeah. So. uh so he hadn't had anything to eat, and we've been drinking for a while now. And um, his girlfriend at the time, uh, in the house, they had these little, these like short little set of steps that uh, went to where like the bedrooms were. And so she came yeah. down because we've been drinking and stuff like that. And she's like, and she's like, you know, you come in the bed. And of course, she comes down. We both turn and look at her, and he looks at me, and goes, "You look at my girlfriend." <laughs> 
you look at her again. <laughs> that sounds like something Lever strong Strongfeet would do. <laughs> so, so then he goes and he goes to the refrigerator and he gets a carrot because he hasn't eaten anything all day. So he starts chewing this carrot. And oh stuff. my god! Oh, and then <laughs> after, after, after about, after about twenty or thirty minutes or whatever, he's like, "I feel I think bad. I'm gonna throw up." <laughs> sure you are. So he's like, "I'm gonna throw up in the bottle." <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He holds the bottle. And, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I gotta tell this story. <laughs> so he holds the body. He's sitting there, and I'm just watching him. Like, yeah, throw up in the bottle. That makes sense. That we will make a mess. <laughs> we will make a mess. So, so this is like like a three liter like wide mouth bottle, right? And uh, and so he he holds it, and he's sitting there like you know cross leg, and goes. <laughs> now he didn't take the cap off the bottle. So he just throws them all over his hand. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what? Well, at least he caught it in his lap, right? <laughs> and and I'm just leg. looking at him like, I don't know why it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Man, liquids come those. out of bottles. <laughs> Certainly they can get back inside of I mean, it. just them. makes perfect sense. You so, can, they, had even, to get the, they had to get it in the bottle somehow. <laughs> I don't even know what I got drunk off of my first time. I think it was just whiskey, but I was going through like the worst breakup of my life. Yeah, my sister was like... My, I'm going to bring over some good shit. Yeah, mine was I got let go. Like, I got I, I got fired, essentially. Uh, so I did the whole, like, I got fired on a Friday at 2 p.m. So I went, and I was drunk by 3. Wow, and then nice. I was That'll so, that was, I got so drunk that the couch that I passed out on had to be burned. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. So I, did, I, I didn't get that drunk. I was, I was slam-ass drunk, but I was still really responsible with it. But, uh, yeah, my sister brought over some kind of bottle. I threw back, like, six shots before it actually yeah, hit me to get drunk. Yeah. And I was like, oh, now I'm feeling yeah, it. Yeah, you can't stop. It's not like you can be like, whoa, I'm pumped the brakes. That, yeah. You already took off. Yeah, at that point, I was just gone. So I was like, well, I'm really drunk, so... I need you to go to my room, get my phone, set my alarm for the morning. I'm going to crawl to the bathroom yeah. so I don't piss my pants overnight. And then I was gone after that. So let me ask you a question. Um, why is he wearing a shirt with the same pattern as the floor from the House of Beetlejuice? <laughs> <laughs> and two, he, he apparently makes some kind of money being a low-life whatever he is. Well, Clint Howard is always a low-life something. <laughs> Everyone else is dressing really fancy with, I mean, because let's be honest, we haven't seen anything that has any kind of jobs, right? The, yeah, yeah, no one has a job. It's, no, no one's like, I was like, oh, I gotta go be, go be an executive tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just one more reason why this isn't a bad apocalypse. People don't have to go to these. This is a hate. dark horse comic book apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, weren't you the one, uh, Jo, that said earlier that the. Um, it's all uh, mercenaries? It's all there are in this? Well, I mean, I was doing that based on the opening scrawl, right. like the opening text crawl, where it was like, it's nothing but a world of chaos, and then we are mercenaries. And I was like, well, if everything's chaotic, then isn't everyone a mercenary? That's my thinking of it. Yeah, that makes sense. I just wonder, he's like, are you sure? I mean, yes, like, this is how we saved Hitler. We froze him. I don't think <laughs> any of these people are government officials, except maybe the Irish guy, right? <laughs> He's the only government. <laughs> I mean, I'm the law. I issue a warrant for Bob Wow. Like, if we can bring him back, then we can bring back Walt Disney. <laughs> I bet you that guy's super uncomfortable because I mean that's got to be ice, right? No, it's um, water and um, gelatin. No, uh, just um, plastic. Yeah, it's just those uh, little uh, plastic cubes. Or whatever. But they look they look like really well suspended. Yeah, they do. The ice hood. There's a Bausch and Lomb in the future. Yeah, but I don't know what a set of Bausch and Lombs is. Well, I guess if you have two eyes. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. That is not sanitary. I have a question. So, I'm why gonna... is he touching all this shit? He's not the operator. <laughs> because it's the lawless apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> you best... just walk into surgery and just start grabbing shit. I did the best I could. Look what I have to work with. Uh, so, okay, so I'm in the military, right? And, and I'm a general. 
It's not enough though that I'm a general. Let me hang all these medals from you, my yeah. my pocket to show you that you really don't know what they are because each one represents <laughs> something different. But just assume that they're all good. <laughs> it, it, it could be a world where like every time you fuck up, I give you a medal to show yeah. what a fuck up you are. <laughs> but when you meet people, like holy shit, look how decorated he is. <laughs> That's uh. That's like the uh, South American general that Gomer meets in Gomer Pile. He's like, oh yes, this medal was for getting the Presidente out of power. And he's like, okay, what about that medal? This is for getting the Presidente back into power. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, I'm going to get you sucker. And he's like, and this is for potato peeling? And, and this is for, this... Oh, we finally got boobage after all this time. Is it clear boobage? Yeah, it was, it was boobage. Yeah, it was boobage. Oh, I think I missed it. Yeah, that's what you get for not paying attention. Uh, sorry. I mean, that's bullshit. <laughs> that was a complete bullshit Strategically shot. Strategically placed suds. I, could, I would not be able to, to make it on this movie set. See, they I missed such a great line. She said, how'd you get past my dog? And he said, you know, I'm a resistant little woman. He should have said, bitches like me. Bitches <laughs> that would have me. been so much better. Why did you give her something to cover up? With? Seriously. Yeah. Oh, turn on a fan. This is one of those, you know, where the movie's always like, well, the hero guy has to be, like, non-sexual, kind of, until maybe they finally hook up or whatever. Yeah. But he has to be, like, super respectful. Yeah. I like how she's wearing Gozer's outfit from Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just gonna just let these suds dry on her. Yeah. Uh, that is a movie... I, I don't even know if you call it Trump. That's a movie thing. I've hated since the day I fucking saw it when I was like five. The idea of people just getting out all sudsied up, yep. you know, especially in the hair, like shampooing their hair. Yep. Yeah. And then just like wiping it off. That would be so <laughs> nasty. You'd be itchy. Oh, and... yeah. Horrifically so. Yeah. I, the one of the things I can't stand is after two people have sex and the girl sits up and she pulls the covers up over I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Up. Yeah, he just had sex. Yeah. I don't want him to think of a slush. <laughs> that, and, and when they get up and they walk across the floor dragging like the, the entire the top, top sheet, sheet with them. Yeah. Like, bitch, like here, you bit. want the pillows? <laughs> you want the, like headrest? You're dragging everything onto the fucking floor. <laughs> she's still like, I'm still gonna kick my legs up. <laughs> Wait, and she still isn't dressed. Yeah, she just didn't bother her. She said, "Fuck it." Yeah, look this at her big ass Tarantino feet. Yeah, and the the towel is more coverage than anything else she's had on, really. Yeah, so. this is the most modest we've seen. Yeah. Well, you know what they say about chicks with big feet? They're probably guys from Katoy Island. But, uh, <laughs> got those wide Katoy feet. <laughs> Row. No, no, Turk. That's that's when a man has small feet. Ah. Oh yeah, this was AIDS scare shit. <laughs> HIV that can kill you in twelve hours. My hair is so flat. <laughs> After you can eat cereal out of my hair. <laughs> NES, was... I mean, it's just whoosh. <laughs> just picture this Amish guy like planing her hair flat. <laughs> it's like we need to make Pamela's hair more com like comic. <laughs> and we need to make her hair flatter. I don't know. Like, yeah, that's a good question. She, you got a hot tub. You got like money. You got <laughs> weapons. Like, so no one all told the her that you can drink. That you can show intensity and anger without talking through your teeth. Like, this <laughs> <is> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure she totally went to acting school. I, mean, that, I think. I don't know. Actually, I think she. Did. Think she did. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think she did. When huh. she was, when she was, because I think she she was Canadian. I think well, the first thing she was like a. Uh, a model for like Molson's beer, right? In like all their print ads. <laughs> it's such a Canadian thing. <laughs> My word, you've said the most Canadian thing ever. <laughs> Pamela Anderson was a was the Molson beer girl. <laughs> I mean, is she is not. Gets. I feel like if you watch this and then watch like you know some of the earlier Baywatch stuff, you could totally see that she did get better, but you know. She didn't get 
good. <laughs> right. Well, you know, she did win an Academy Award for Baywatch the movie, that movie that was filmed entirely in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? Futurama. Oh, okay. When uh when they went it, hey, there get gosh, your boob dude, there. No, I missed it. I missed that boob. was the best boob of the movie. That was great. That was a great boob. That was almost frontal. Yeah, almost. I see stuff like that for this kind of movie. You know, they measured it in like millimeters of exposure. You know, it's like, like she could only turn so much. Right. It's like watching a horror movie. <laughs> Actually, yeah, see, I, I think, think if I was if I was thirteen years old, my mom came in and watched it. She'd be like, "Wait." Are there any tits in this movie? Because why the hell are you watching this? Yeah. It's just boring. That would have been that would have been like you know when I rented the movie and I'm like, mom, there's no boobs in it, and she would be like, okay, that would be the scene she would have walked into, yep. right. and she would have been like, you lied to me, and I'm like, but there's only that's like two seconds. <laughs> really, it's only like this and one other time. It also sucks that, like, it's only her boobs. Like, yeah. Why can't I mean, there just be more? Like, I want to see her boobs, too. Yeah, there, there needs to be more boobs. Variety. It's always yeah. nice. It's the thing. They need to have a tit scan for, for when the rent is Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure the, <laughs> the, um, the yeah. softcore porn version of this would have been the tit <laughs> scanner. <gasps> Well, it's probably because he's just banging around all the time. <laughs> oh, so Jack knows where these character from Event Horizon. Yeah. Remember, he started bleeding from his eyes when he got shot out of the airlock. Lock, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now he doesn't have any eyes. <laughs> so he survived Event Horizon. <laughs> Fell or, back to Earth. This is his hell from Event Horizon. Yeah. When he went into the drive. Yeah, the hell for Event Horizon is you're surrounded in the post apocalyptic world where someone dropped the hot bitch bomb, <laughs> but you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going to smash the place up, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Like, we've had this set unharmed for too long. Okay, I just have to say this. Smash right. the place up fine, right? But we can take the alcohol home. I mean, they're not even smashing the alcohol. They're just smashing empty bottles. Yeah. Like, empty glasses. Oh, there's someone's pushing the light bulb again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now they're shooting out. After you sit down with me and you don't sit down with me. <laughs> Tells me that you're a man who's worried. <laughs> Ooh, we the shock is fierce. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. <laughs> it's like in the in the future, all you have is wild turkey, like Jameson, <laughs> yeah. and smeared off it. Maybe yeah. that is maybe that is the true horrors that there's no like good liquor. It's all just you know. The popular shit. How many times are they going to push over that same rack of alcohol? <laughs> I hope that it's just repeat footage. <laughs> oh, yeah. That 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 was totally the same shot. I hate to see something like this happen. But I'm bump. Psh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You mean these contact lenses? <laughs> I mean, why? The first thing that they should have done before they tossed the place was toss the people in the fucking place. Yeah. Like, the first thing you do when you go into a bar and you're like, there's something hidden in this bar, is you take the people yep. and empty their fucking pockets. At the very least. Yeah. If you're really desperate for it and it hinges <laughs> on you taking over the world, then it's like full cavity search. Yeah, it's full cavity search. Then we'll start smashing bottles because, like, okay, we're they going to hide it in a bottle? <laughs> okay, I, they had it hidden in the blind guy the whole time! <laughs> I have a question. How did he, how did the blind guy know that this random tube of whatever were contact lenses? Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. It's a good question. Because he felt them. <laughs> It's not a bad question. I think or... when you're blind, you get the sixth sense of like knowing vision products. <laughs> I don't really believe he is blind because no one has screamed at him yet. No one screamed at him? Yeah. Hey, how are you today? <laughs> That's because this is the paradisical apocalypse where everybody's oh, beautiful. Oh, they found the apocalypse. Oh, hey, finally. 
We found the apocalypse, guys. <laughs> it's the next town over, guys. It's, it's the it's the it's not even a tire trash yard. It's just a trash trash yard. <laughs> No, no, we're we're the cool city where all the hot people go to drink. Yeah. You, want, you want the junkyard down the road. That's where the apocalypse is. Okay, so this is not the first fat person in apocalypse yeah, he that sits in a bulldozer cup movie. Holy shit, I've seen this before. They stole it from another movie. <laughs> what movie? He, he wasn't even taking, like, big enough bites to really chew. He's like, I'm, 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 I'm. just gnawing it. <laughs> just kind of pressing it against his lips. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to make sweet love to this turkey with uh, Street yeah. trash. Street trash. There is, the, the, in the movie Street Trash, there's a character that li- <laughs> it, they live in a fucking, uh, you know, trash dump world area. And he lives, he, his throne is this. That's really cool. I like that yeah. aesthetic a lot. But is, isn't that the guy from uh, from Rick and Morty season three, right there behind barbed wire? Was his name like Mayhem or whatever, the one that Summer falls in love with? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he survived the apocalypse. <laughs> I like his uh, Chris Chan shirt too. <laughs> These like clown stripes. <laughs> Will you be my sweetheart from the ground up. I like he stumbled just things like I should have lost my rhythm. I gotta get. <laughs> I don't think the guy in Street Trash was fat. Is Street Trash the one? But he was taught there. There he's the, he's the guy that rules over the dump, and that's his throne. <laughs> Is that the one with the movie poster where the guy's like half out of a toilet? Yeah. 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 It's it's one. really, it's good. Uh, it, I mean, you know, it's a good in the very subjective sense of it being good. It's about, uh, it's it's kind of the plot to uh, Black Dynamite. It's uh, liquor, someone's made a liquor that kills homeless people instead of a liquor that, you know. Shrinks your dick. Yeah, shrinks your dick. <laughs> but it's the same concept. Like they're, you know, some shady, you know, the government trying to get rid of all the homeless people. So they make a liquor that, uh, Viper, I think is the name of it in the movie. It like dissolves them, right? Yeah, it dissolves you from the inside out. But <laughs> unlike Black Dynamite, where the liquor does something to you that you don't know, you know, for a while, you know, anaconda malt liquor. Ooh. Um, this, as soon as you drink Viper, you dissolve from the inside out. Huh. So, like, the whole thing about the movie that's fucked up is like, why would anyone drink that liquor if you saw your homeless buddy down the street drink it and then like explode? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They never really address that glaring plot hole. <laughs> but Black Dynamite, I sell flesh dissolving liquor to homeless people. people. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dig it? No, oh, Ninja, I can't dig it. <laughs> Is he just taking the same bite out of the same... Or is he getting like a new mutton leg every time? <laughs> he's like, it's like one bite. Yeah, he's, I just like leg. this part of the skin. <laughs> the first bite's always the best. <laughs> I have to ask the same question here that I did in our other like post-apocalyptic movies. Where are the chickens and... Yeah, the livestock, stuff. yeah. All, that's why, all these people are well fed. That's for why sure. he's just gnawing on it yeah. because he has to make it last. Yeah. And, and that's not just any ticket. That is clearly rotisserie. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. clearly. It's obviously. You, you, that's not trash can fire rotisserie no. either. <laughs> now, so someone, someone basted that and, you know, and just like it's slow oh, rotation. That cat. I like how Fat Cat is on the side that you can't see, see going yeah. to it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you only see it when you leave and you're like, but he already introduced himself. I see four lights! <laughs> <laughs> yes, please bombard me with more light and that'll, that'll work against me because I'm blind. Is Easter, Easter, Bunny, Easter Bunny in the future? I asked him why he was wearing that ridiculous See, rabbit suit. See, this is totally a scene out of uh, Event Horizon. Why are you wearing that ridiculous human suit? <laughs> you know, the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? No, the Muffin Man! Uh, yes, yes, I know the Muffin Man. 
who lives on Drury Lane. <laughs> Wait a minute, he's talking about Santa Claus. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I thought he finally told us, but oh, he didn't. Oh no, they killed him. He never saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, sir. <laughs> He's just going to clean it with one broom. <laughs> I like how apparently... And he doesn't even have, like, a pan. What is he doing? I like how apparently he just started. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And now it's all wet. Because, you know, <laughs> liquor's wet. They should have called him Little Debbie. Yeah. They really should have called him Little Debbie. Curly's such a predictable name. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now, 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 like, now that they like fucked it nice... up and made it impossible to profit off of, I'm giving it to you. Yeah. I like me a nice dark haired chick as much as anybody, but why in the hell is she covering that beautiful red hair under a black wig? It's a good question. Yeah, I. This is like the end of Dark Knight Rises when. Uh... <laughs> When, uh, what's his name, uh, JT, Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt gets the Batcave oh, with, yeah. no, with no yeah, money to uh, operate it. This thing costs like $10,000 an hour to run. <laughs> a suit that doesn't fit him? Like, the insurance policy alone is going to tank me. And a bunch of curious-ass orphans right above him that you know are going to find the, <laughs> the, the clock eventually to open it up. Because there's yeah. going to be that day where they're like, hey, let's take every single one of these books off the shelf. <laughs> You know, what's going to happen Ching -ching. is... <laughs> what's going to happen is they're going to be like, hey, we need to sell some of this shit because we don't need, like, a fucking grandfather clock in an orphanage. Yeah. And like, hey, how get, we like, move? a couple like thousand. bolted to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go push on all these statues' foreheads. Hey, this one tilted back. There's a button on your here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, they were already broke. Oh, oh no, curly sunglasses. He never goes anywhere without them. Oh, Charlie, sorry. My name's mixed up. Uh, yeah, it's, Curly's the one without the hair. Right. right? Yeah. It's, it's such a delicate balance to keep up with all these character names. I feel like this is a like flash mob about to happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I'll jump down off the deuces and jump yeah. up off the floor and start dancing the thriller. <laughs> yeah, I hate to say this, but a lot of these sets and these things remind me a lot of Fallout 4. Yeah, they do. Like the, oh, the, the fridges, a lot of the fridges in Fallout 4 have like a bunch of fridges in it. Well, like, they the Wasteland stuff. scavengers always have the dead bodies hanging around. Yeah. They're always pressed in, like, just random garbage. I always, like, think of refrigerators for some reason. Well, yeah, because you're just going to find a bunch of old 1950s refrigerators always laying around in the future. Yeah. Just like we do now. Yeah. So, here's another question I have. Like, um, did someone gather all these fridges together and then drop the bomb? So, is the same gay guy that's making their clothes also making her makeup? And, uh, I don't know. Probably. In this post-apocalyptic wasteland, why is everyone so well coiffed? <laughs> <laughs> They're not dirty. <laughs> he, he's well, I mean, she had a jacuzzi bubble bath, so yeah. that's how she stayed clean. But what about Django? I, I think he is dirty. I think that is what dirty is. Oh. Yeah, yeah he's like the closest thing yeah, to dirty. Yeah, he's the closest thing to dirty. In this nice paradise post-apocalypse or they all share her one bubble bath <laughs> community bubble bath yeah i don't have anywhere to put any of these weapons <laughs> why, why would that? you just <laughs> put the ammo in it and then shove the ammo out <laughs> no she's like oh shit i took all <laughs> oh, the shells out i gotta put them in. back in Okay. That... <laughs> Here, you take uh... a little one. 
Like, we're like 20 minutes overdue for a fucking action scene. Seriously. If, if not, like, longer. Hey, check it out. It's got a Atari joystick. That's from <laughs> some, like, Jaguar or something. I love how in low-budget movies, when they want to make a video game sound, they use the old, like, uh... Uh, Atari Pac-Man sound? Yeah, yeah, it's Pac-Man or like Missile Defender. Or, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, that's so horrible. Missile Command. And there's there's always that like... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the, the Atari Jaguar was that 64-bit one. Yeah. But it still only like oh. utilized 16 bits. Yeah, the it Jaguar, was the, the controller one. had like 20,000 buttons on it. it. Yeah, it had like the full alphabet on it. It I had, think. no, it no. had a number pad on it. Oh, that's right, that's right. It had a number pad, but I think it had a joystick controller as well, and I think that's it. Or I could be thinking of something else. The color looks exactly the same. I remember the, the, the Yeah, Jaguar so had a. Uh, the what I always remember playing was um, it had an AVP game on it that was really good. I was going to say, that yeah. was the only thing I really wanted to do was play the AVP yeah. game. Never never got a chance to. There was, uh, it had Faceball on it, and that was pretty fun. Like Faceball 2000, I think. And Mark Zuckerberg's Faceball? Yeah. Uh, no, the one with the smiley faces. And uh, I don't know, it had a couple other fun things. I rented one and had a friend with one. Oh, she put him somewhere safe. <laughs> <laughs> Where nobody would ever think to look. I mean... That's the thing. When 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 you look like her, sticking anything in your cleavage is not going to hide, hide anything. That's what everybody's looking. Yeah. Plus, there's just, you know, the pressure that they would be under. Yeah, it's probably turn those things into diamonds. It didn't like even look guy. like it was closed. Oh, it's not closed. Like this guy just has a random ass medieval helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Big old words of debit card. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll hold these up in the camera for, for the camera. <laughs> All she has to do is just, like, turn around and empty her clip into it. Yeah. And problem solved. Yeah. I mean, the, it's the apocalypse. These dudes uh, follow, you know, the mightiest of the pack, right? So yeah. she kills the alpha, she becomes the alpha. Oh, yeah, guess. all your guns. <laughs> even those two guns. <laughs> the two big guns. Obviously, they're going to shoot him because yeah, I mean, he he cannot stick around. I never understood the whole. I'm going to help you get the weapon that you need to take over the entire, entire world right, and yeah. do all the evil shit you want to do, and then you're going to let me live because because <laughs> uh, you know I'm adorable and fat. Right. <laughs> it's a big personality thing for him. She showed him. Yeah. Really then, even then it turns out her spit's acidic. <laughs> She's yeah. half xenomorph and his face starts melting off. I, I always think it's funny when someone, they like, all of a sudden they spit. I'm like, I don't know about you, but I don't think I can really get a good spit just like on cue. I couldn't get it with that reflexive just too. I would have to like hawk it up, you know? <laughs> right, it's then it's not a surprise. And then it's not a surprise. <laughs> They're just going to, oh, I'm just going to duck. <laughs> Yeah, swirl around my mouth for a bit. I got something coming, guys. Wait, can oh, someone give me a big glass of milk first? Then I'll spit on you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a thermal detonator. Okay, so she tells him not to move, and she holds it there like she's gonna hold them, like at a standoff. And then she throws it. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that surprise face. That was your oh money shot. Oh my god, that surprised face. 
I want to make that my profile picture. <laughs> I have a question. Wouldn't it have made more sense to actually throw it at somebody instead of up in the air? Yeah, because, right? I mean, why didn't they just shoot just shoot her? Yeah, or, I mean, they, it, you know, it, it goes up in the air. Why don't you wait and see which direction it goes in before you start running? <laughs> Blues Brothers music. Take it from my hands. <laughs> I can't do this on my own. Damn it, I'm not Jesus. <laughs> I'm letting go. I need your help fast. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know, because, like, <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bitches. What's such a, a fucking passive aggressive thing to say? Well, how come I don't get drunk? Right. Like, you know, I, I don't know, dude. If you want to drive, just take the wheel from him. <laughs> you know what I think is great is uh, is that the van is camouflaged to match <laughs> the nothing yeah, in that world. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that she popped a wheelie back there because I don't think she could have gone fast. Oh, yeah, you, she had to go faster. faster. <laughs> Well, you save gas because you're not putting both tires <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. That was one hell of a missile. It was two missiles. Oh, shit, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, it was two. Yeah, you missed the second missile. You missed every instance of nudity in this. I don't see what you're getting out of this movie, Turk. My body is chrome. <laughs> My blood is gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drive directly into this explosion. <laughs> because also we blew up is going to be Yeah, cleared. it's going to turn into paper mache. <laughs> We're not going to run over any flaming bits of metal. <laughs> oh no, our armored car is now on fire. I couldn't have possibly foreseen this outcome. It's interesting how the thing that they hit didn't move. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it stayed pretty rock solid. Even though it looked like just a cart... How did it get upright? Hey, you were talking about top three motorcycle people. Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Barbed wire. I, I think I'd have to put her at number five and have to put the motorcycle from Mega Force as number four. Because at least that, that wings were out of Yeah, side it changed. Could fly. Yeah, it transformed. What, no, no Kamen Rider motorcycle? Nah. I never actually watched Kamen Rider. I've played a game. It's not <laughs> as much as I've done. Yeah, I've never actually watched it. I've seen clips of it. This guy's going to be such an ineffectual, like, bad guy. Like, fighter. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I, have, I have a question. <laughs> why is he still holding the button on the gun? Like, why is he still holding the trigger? Okay, so so, so when you're designing your... Hey, there's your wheelie. <laughs> When you're they didn't get it your, really far off the ground either. Your, your military outfits that you're going to use for possible combat. Who thought it was a good idea to say, you know what we need? Motorcycle boots. Motorcycle boots. Right. <laughs> because <laughs> they just they sell it. They sell the whole right. outfit. Because so when you have to run or actually do any kind of you're fighting, kind of <laughs> doop, doop, doop. <laughs> But if everyone fights with terrible footwear it evens out the field so like if she fights in like i don't think she has she has normal like motorcycle yeah on. but if she fights in the heels and they fight in the immobile like boots then it evens out uh, oh hey look <laughs> more more forest, camouflage uh, more forest camo <laughs> hey is this where they shot the uh the uh young mc video <laughs> <laughs> Then the MC Hammer one? <laughs> Probably. There's some stairs here. We'll just. Uh... I'm pretty sure this is also the construction site from Cool as Ice. Oh. Hey, I recognize that sound. That's a jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> you took him to the construction site. What, really? You, you, can't, you can't hit him from right there? All the scaffolding's in the way. Because, you know, little, like, one-inch pipe is going <laughs> to totally get in the way. Oh, 
Oh no, Lobster Johnson, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <a> goofy hat. <laughs> Wow. Well, it was like the biggest red, you know, th- uh, flammable barrel I've ever seen. <laughs> I like how they, they wear like the red tinted glasses so everything looks fabulous to them. Yeah. <laughs> the world's just all red and beautiful. <laughs> oh, someone's going through the glass. Finally. I'm looking at you through the glass. There we go. Hey, let me get you a lift. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking Joy King Phoenix is the Joker laugh he's got going on here. <laughs> oh, my foot's stuck. I left my shotgun behind. <laughs> <laughs> not groovy, JD. Not groovy at all. How did these people not? How did they run out of weapons so quickly? I thought they walked into this situation with like fifty fucking weapons. Like, you know. He, he he has got to call her babe. Someone has to at the end, like, one more time in the movie. Just at the end, like, right before she delivers the killing shot. Yeah, like, I, I That don't, would require don't continuity. I don't remember if that happens. I mean, the fact that they, you know, burn the, you know, let me give you a lift, kind of, they miss that joke. <laughs> I, so here's her foot stuck, but never wants to think to just take her foot out the boot. I don't, think, I don't think you can get your feet out of those boots. <laughs> I don't maybe. think she can get out of any of that outfit. Except easily. the jacket. That's pretty much it. Wow, I like the punch that made him like flip backwards. <laughs> that's and a, that that's winning the, smile. The Django punch. <laughs> and now, he says it every time he does it. Django punch! <laughs> <laughs> like, like Spider-Man from Marvel's Capcom. <laughs> Web swing! Web Django swing. punch! Web crawl. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, have you noticed all of the death and explosions going on? Like, you didn't... Okay. I like the idea that he's just totally clueless. <laughs> he's the it's only guy be... working on the entire, entire doc. doc. In the entire movie, he's the only guy with a job. It's just Doc Worker Larry, the only other person on the planet with a job. <laughs> and, and if you look, there's nothing on the dock from the work. Yeah, on. yeah, there's yeah. no... Uh, there's no where are all the shipping containers? He's, he's just like, what can I do? They're like, you just work the crane, Larry. <laughs> there's, there's no... Uh... There's no mafia foreman, you know. <laughs> Man, he's he's working that crane the way uh, Jennifer Lopez Lopez played pinball last night. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching Money Train last night. <laughs> Money Train, yeah. All, all he needed to know is like, is this the one that makes it go up? <laughs> Yeah, no, for, for those who don't know, there's a scene in Money Train where Jennifer Lopez's character is playing pinball, and she's just, like, contorting her whole body. Oh, yeah. Throwing her it, whole body yeah, into hitting instead flippers. Instead of, like, just touch the flippers. <laughs> it's really stupid. Why not just let go? You're right above water. And you already got those flotation devices, so... <laughs> oh, he's gonna call her babe. And then she'll throw him off the, off the car. That's gotta be what happens. Oh, I'm surprised he actually. Someone finally to hit her. like pulled her hair. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I just mean I'm surprised that somebody actually landed a hit on her because I don't think she's taken damage yeah, at all yeah, this entire yeah. movie. She hasn't. I'm pretty sure she's taken a couple shots. <laughs> not on camera. No, yeah, not any that were or at least not on these, to the, this cut of the movie. Not on these cameras. <laughs> why is he, why is he just sitting there? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who put jet fuel in the bulldozer? <laughs> Doc worker Larry. <laughs> you put the jet fuel in the bulldozer again. <laughs> uh oh, he shrugged his shoulders. <laughs> Iris in on him. Yeah, the Da-da. thing is, is like I <laughs> that's mean, our Larry. 
in the future, all umbrellas must be transparent. <laughs> this is one of the future rules. <laughs> Such are the rules of 2017. <laughs> <laughs> the distant past. Like, I will use an umbrella that is a solid color. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pretty sure what happened here is that they just bought these things in bulk. So there was some catalog that was like transparent umbrellas, three hundred for twelve bucks. Yeah. Yeah, it was, the, the writer of this was he was writing it while he was traveling from one place to the next, and he was like, "Sky Mall." Hey. <laughs> you can find some good stuff in here. You know, no, don't put them in. They're not contacts. Oh, they're bombs. <laughs> she's an entirely different person with those contacts on. Uh, but contact lenses have to fit your. Can't oh, yeah, because that this. looks natural. These are future contacts. What are you, the, the Quintet Satirac? <laughs> <laughs> now I must go to Arrakis. I like how even in the future, the safest place to be when America goes to shit is, is Canada. Canada. <laughs> not, not just Canada, but like French Canada. I love how, like, the whole HIV super bug plot, like, started and ended in that one scene. Like, it never yeah. got mentioned ever again. So, I, I hate to say this, but I really don't know what happened in this movie. I, 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 wasn't, I was trying to pay attention to the plot, but... Um... You know, it was, it was, she knew something about a HIV super virus, and they had to get her out of the country... So, literally, it was just, like, we gotta get these fake lenses so that she can, like, sneak into Canada. <laughs> Clint Howard was gonna give her $2 million Canadian money. I think it specifically said that. <laughs> and that was gonna be enough for her to escape. Okay, so, she knows something about the super HIV virus. Yeah, so I she... think she was one of the designers or something. <laughs> and so, she had to get out of... The country, why? I love that she's still using those bra pockets. Oh, yeah, also known as brockets. Yeah. In 2017 lingo. Rocket, brocket. Oh, like, at least she brought a gun to the <laughs> to the fucking airport. But it's the future, so I guess you can just do that. Oh, there yeah, you go. So that, that movie needed about 20 to 30 more minutes of boobs. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Needed 20 to 30 minutes less everything else. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. So that's that's been me and Turk's golden rule with these movies, is that, you know, if, if you're going to do a movie, and, I mean, you might as well just accept the fact that it's probably not going to be good, and just yeah. throw in some nudity. Yeah. It can't hurt. It can't. It can only elevate it. Yeah, It really exactly. cannot do anything worse. Because the only two things that can happen there is you can either say, man, that movie absolutely sucked, but got to see some see, nice like tits. Sense, yeah. Or you can say, that movie was incredible, and I got to see some nice yeah. tits. Hey, the disc jockey was T.O. Huh. Where was T.O. when he were trashing a bar? I, that's what I told you. <laughs> I said he completely lived ab above the movie. Like, oh, yeah. you know, he was the god figure of the movie. Well, the camera kept doing, like, that close-up of his mouth, like the radio announcer yeah. from the Warriors. He could have been the dude tapping the light bulb. <laughs> yeah, tapping the light picture. T.O., hold that still. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this, all you this... rocking cats out there. Barb just changed to another outfit to show her tits. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this unfolded pretty much the way I remembered it. I, I remember the yeah. bad guys being... I always... I thought they were actually Nazis, though, not just Nazi uniforms. They just tore the swastika off of. <laughs> right. So, I'm, I'm still. Um... I wonder how close this was to the comic. It's a good uh, I'm question. sure yeah. probably not close at all. Probably not. Okay, so I have a. I have a, a, a. I'm still trying to figure out. So the woman she helped design the HIV super virus, right? I think so, or she knew the she knew the formula or something. Yeah. So, she's getting out of the country, why? So that they don't kidnap her and torture the formula out of her. Yeah, they want to weaponize the formula. Yeah, they want it to weaponize. Oh, so they don't have it yet. Right. No. So they she, just but... want to put some chemicals in the water to turn the friggin' frogs gay. <sighs> well, I don't think they have to do that in this world. I think that already happened. <laughs> so, 
I think I have to ask a question when she comes to me and says, "Did get me a visual consultant, Jeff Darrow?" What? Jeff fucking Darrow? What? I mean, it did have some visual flair to it. Oh, it had some really nice yeah, visual it, flair. It, I mean, it was you know, but I mean, it's, it's Jeff, Jeff Darrow. Darrow. He's the guy who did um, Big Guy and Rusty the Boy Robot. Yes. Amongst many, many other things. Yes. So, so Jeff Wire Darrow Wire. did the designs for the Squiddies and stuff in The Matrix. Huh. That I didn't know. That's crazy. Wow. Well, I mean, I could but, see but, jumping yeah. from this to The Matrix. But yeah. now that I tell you that, though, you can see it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. totally. So Steve Scroach did the, uh, did the storyboards for The Matrix. <laughs> and he's a fantastic penciler. And Jeff Darrow did the, the designs for that. I didn't know that he did, but I now I'm thinking about it though. I think he actually did the cover for Barbed Wire. Um, wow! Because Big Guy and Rusty was a Dark Horse comic. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I love that, Big Guy and Rusty. Have, have you seen the cartoon? I haven't seen the cartoon. No, I didn't know. Well, Should I got you an episode of the cartoon tonight? That is crazy. Big Guy and Rusty cartoon is awesome. It's good. Yeah, you know, no, I for like one season. I like Jeff Dara. Yeah, Jeff Dara, and he was super cool when I met him at the SCCC. See, I, I wanted to meet him in Heroes Con, but I haven't read enough of his work to hold up a decent conversation. And you, you know how I am. Like, i got to have some kind of a basis to be able to talk to them mm. for, like, several minutes. I don't want to just bore them and go, <laughs> I like your stuff. I don't think... <laughs> I'm not going to buy anything today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm so cheap. <laughs> I'll just see if I've got... Um, um, I only have one issue of Big Guy and Rusty, because this is in a big magazine format. But mm -hmm. I'll have to show it to, uh, to J.O. Boyer, because it, uh, it's... You, you, when you see it, you, his work is just incredible. Oh, the, the special thanks to Triumph Motorcycles. Triumph the insult motorcycle. For me to pull Yeah, the, the, the... I the, can think of his name earlier. Yeah, the Triumph. dog completely disappeared from the movie as well. You yeah. should left him behind with... Yeah. Uh, with uh, Curly. Yeah, Little Debbie. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> I mean, they just... They didn't come back to them or anything for the end of the movie. Hey, um... Cop plane pulled mill by Mr. Ed jumps the gun. Uh, hey, we had a... We got a, a Motley Crue song. Lee, yeah. We got a song, Don't Call Me Babe. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say how they, none of these bands in this I've ever heard of at all. <laughs> oh shit, did this come out before or after Space Jam? Uh, I don't know. Because... I think this came out after Space this Jam. This is 95. Space Jam? Space Jam was 95. Yeah. Because there was that whole thing with Lola Bunny kicking the shit out of anybody who called her doll. Oh jeez. Ah... Don't call me doll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, holy yeah. shit. They probably got that from Space Jam. <laughs> barbed Wire will return in Barbed Wire 2. <laughs> the Barbarine. Now, now we cut into the after credit scene. Nick Fury walks up and like, Damn, girl! You're stacked! <laughs> oh, man. So this, uh... Oh, for a minute there, I thought this was the after credit scene. <laughs> I thought that you had recorded this. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, I called it. <laughs> yeah, this movie was uh, pretty bad. This was not a good movie. Um, it was entertaining. It was entertaining. It definitely needed more boobage, and not just Pamela Anderson boobage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just across the board. I do understand that that's what most of the people came there for, was to see Pamela Anderson boobage, yeah. right? But... You know, variety, man. I think life. I think for a lot of those movies with those like high, high caliber hot women, you're just not allowed to show other hot women. Right. You, you just can't step on their. You can't cramp their style. <laughs> right. You know, if I were a director and we're making a movie centric around showing off hot women, I would not adhere to that rule. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off! I'm going to show as many hot naked women as I can. That's the studio, man. <laughs> the studio holding them down. I can only imagine that the, uh, in like her contract, it was like, you know, so only two boobs are allowed to be shown in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there was some at the opening dance scene. Got a little bit of nip there. Yeah. You had the hot tub scene. You had her just throwing the robe on herself. No, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying only, like, only one set of tips. Yeah, oh, only, only one set. Because <laughs> the one chick you saw earlier that looked pretty nice, but she, she had pasties on. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Whoever, whoever was the guy that, that said, um, Sure, you can be topless, but you have to cover up your Yeah, nipples, the nipple. Right? And he was, a, I mean, this that was a guy that really knew sexuality. Yeah. Because I'm thinking to myself, shit, I can see the rest of the tit, but when I see the tit and there's no nipple, I, yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. It's like, I don't, I don't, it's, I don't what am I looking at? It's like decaf coffee. It's like, okay, well, why bother? Yeah. This is accomplishing nothing. It's like looking at a foot with no toes. I mean, you really would think, 
I'm not even it would bother you, but when you see it, you're like, oh, something's, something's not right. No, no, I can tell that would bother me. That would really mess with me. That would bother me more than pasties. <laughs> Okay, but what about detachable nipples, like yeah. in Jason X? Yeah, I mean, then I still think no toes would bother me more. Yeah. The, the nipples uh, that just yeah. fall off and break, because yeah. that would pretty mess. That would mess with me pretty bad. So you said you said detachable nipples, and the first thing it made me think of was uh, King Missile song "Detachable Penis." Oh yeah. <laughs> I woke up with yeah. a bad hangover, and my penis was missing. <laughs> I love that song. That's yeah, no, song. I just, like, that That scene sticks with me a lot from Jason X, where they just, like, fall off and you hear the sound of, like, glass shattering. It's like, why? <laughs> why is that a thing? If you're going to design a sex <laughs> anvoy, why would you give it detachable news? <laughs> I mean, you got to take every part off to replace it. Jeez. Well, be- okay, because... All right, so I've got my sex robot, right? Yes. I got, like, I got my Cherry 2000, right? And I'm sitting there... <laughs> And yes, I've got my sex robot. But again, after having sex with my sex robot for so much, I mean, and she, she's willing any position, yeah, anything I want yeah, to do. It but, might get a little dull. Right. So I'm going to you know swap out some of her body parts or whatever. Yeah. And then, you know what? Today I want some inverted nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Today I want some anise. Right. <laughs> or maybe maybe I want like like the big areola with like the small nipple. Uh, the <laughs> yeah, you tits. never, you know, uh, never want not, not, that. Not, not, like, not like the saucer like, you know, <laughs> the areola. Saucer. But you know, just like, like, the, like you know, sometimes you get the, the, the really like, like wider pink with like the little. You know, yeah. I'm just saying. You just, so that's why. I, okay, let me ask ma- you. Maybe this. I'm coming from the perspective I would never get a sex robot because I've seen too much go wrong. With <laughs> yeah, they always turn on you. There's no way to get away from that. It's like I mean, when, when you work in the IT field, you see tech stuff break so much, <laughs> and so you just imagine it's like a servo is going to go bad. Yeah, and yeah, and you've got your right penis off. in that. Thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I. It's so like, okay, well, I have I just spent six hours working on a fucking printer, and that has a lot fewer moving parts than a sex <laughs> robot. So and I'm not th- sticking my penis in the I'm printer. I'm not sticking my penis in the printer. Yeah. So I can only imagine what's going to go wrong when this thing decides, oh, you know, firmware error, sorry, <laughs> when I'm right in the throes of passion with it. Yeah, not happening. Okay, well, wait. Well, so I, I guess your sex robots are way more sophisticated than mine. Oh, because so you just want a flashlight? <laughs> no, I'm just saying it just has to have like a little bit of like a like a vibration, like some kind of motor down there. I don't need to be able to vary speeds or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just so, I, so you basically just want a mannequin with a flashlight, essentially, because that's what it sounds a like. A softer mannequin, yes. <laughs> to be as close to the real thing. That's not close to the real thing. That's close to necrophilia. <laughs> well, I don't know of any woman that has like a fucking motor down there. <laughs> <laughs> like, do just, you know any women who are completely I, non-responsive I, to the point of like just kerflop, kerflop? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. I do. That's fair. Okay. That that <laughs> could be a thing, yes. I'm just saying, but... Hey, but you wouldn't stick with them. You definitely okay. wouldn't buy one for like $3,000. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, uh, that's low-balling. Uh, yeah. Kami, you meet this really kind of nice chick. You're, you're like a con. And it's like she's, she's not your typical con, babe, right? She, I mean, she's actually behind the table, okay? <laughs> and she's into you, and she's like, I hook up. It's like, a, you know, it's like a one thing. You're, we're, you're never going to be at this con again, and she is hot, and she is all for it, right? Okay. And you get there, and you're going to stick your dick, and all of a sudden, her pussy starts going, mm. <laughs> You're gonna tell me that that's natural. And be like, oh, this is new. <laughs> this must be some sort of concept. Yeah, okay. Damn, is this one of those German things? I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm just gonna. You know. <laughs> oh shit! Is that Kevin J. R. Rourke? I thought he was dead. Because we were talking about him during our uh, Deep Rising thing. Like, we haven't seen him in a while. Hmm. Yeah. Was that Gwyneth Paltrow? No, no. God, that's uh, no, that's definitely not. Uh, Kirsten Dunst. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wow. All right. Joey! <laughs> <laughs> I do love Deep Rising. Uh, anyway, so we've been, uh, we've been talking for a while since the credits finished rolling. I'm but, saying, th- uh, this is so misleading. The fact that the next movie comes up and it's really big, it's a huge X there. I'm like, I'm about to watch something good. It's like, R-rated. it's Dimension Films. Yeah, <laughs> yeah great. 
I, I, what, what scream? I what? saw the I, I saw the Orion logo yesterday. Now that really? you know Orion's back, is it? Yeah, yeah. they're back. Because you know, know what movie they did recently? The Child's Play reboot. <laughs> that oh, was the biggest pile of shit I have seen in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but it had the Orion logo. Wow. Yeah. Well, wow, that's uh, that's really winning people over. Uh, <laughs> like, hey, our studio's coming back, and we're going to come back with the reboot of Child's, <laughs> Child's Play. Play. <laughs> yeah. It was really, really, really bad. <laughs> anyway, so I guess we should probably wrap this, but yeah, uh, yeah it, <laughs> Barbed Wire, it was a movie. It was a movie. It was a movie. It was, you know, I think one of those... Uh, you know, this is what comic book movies were in, in the mid to late nineties. I don't think that's fair. I don't. Yeah, I think Which, like... that was from Beyond. That's from Beyond. Huh. <sighs> Not the Beyond, but from Beyond. But no, I, I don't... <laughs> Not the Beyond, but from Beyond. I don't think that's. that's I mean, yeah, I'm not fair. saying it's I mean, the best representation, well, like, but it was very. That was so very I'm... much in the in the Blade kind of uh, vibe. No, I, that's it... more of like a steel. I can see, I can see what Jay was saying though. With like, it has that kind of like aesthetic, like that that gritty, lots of leather, lots of swords. Yeah, lots, lots of, of leather. Action. Yeah. So the yeah, leather, like, the leather, especially. Like it's it's closer spiritually as a comic book movie to an action film than an actual superhero, superhero movie. movie. Sure. So yeah, yeah I. Totally it's really get that. it's really a bad action film first and yeah. a bad superhero movie second. Right. Right. But it's bad on both fronts. Uh, I would agree. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think I think there's better things you can see Pamela Anderson in <laughs> sex tape. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it was it was a movie. I didn't hate it. I mean, this is not one of those let's watches where I was like, thank God, God it's, it's over. over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like uh, vicious lips. God, vicious lips was so bad. Oh, it was so bad. But yeah, so um. <laughs> Whew. All right, so to wrap this up here, I'm just pulling this up. Uh, hey, Haunted yeah. Honeymoon. It was... <laughs> we could have watched this. That guys. was a Gene Wilder <laughs> movie. Yep, and it has... Uh, For sure. There's Gilda Randers in that, too. It has... Uh, I think so. I don't remember. It has Dom DeLuise in drag, right? Am I thinking right? I don't know. Pretty sure, pretty sure that's Dom DeLuise in drag. It looked very Dom DeLuise. All right, so here is the cover to Barbed Wire number one. And I believe that's a Jeff Darrow cover. Oh, uh, that's kind of like a more of a workout leotard. Kind yeah, of that's 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 a much more '80s outfit. Yeah, even though I, this is a '90s book. <laughs> more maybe is it? I'd be late willing. '80s, early '90s. I was about to say I'd be willing to go with that yeah, being an '88 or I'd an '89. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, 1993 according to this. Oh well, holy 1993. shit, '93. Because um, that outfit feels extremely. Yeah, it was like super jazzercise. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I do like the colors on it though. That's a cool design. It says Dorman cover. Is it Dave? Dorman? See, the thing about the movie that rings true is that they looked at that and they're like, "No, it's got to be all black. She has to be all black. Everyone <laughs> yeah. dresses in black. Black, 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 black." <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like the early X Men movies. Yeah, I like it. everything has to be dark, dark, dark. No, we can't have them in yellow spandex. There you go. Huh. All right. That's a much cooler outfit. Yeah, she should have had an outfit. Yeah, that that I like. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, Yep. Hey, hey, guys, we need a, uh, a barbed wire reboot. Okay, so who, who's, in you, who, who's in your barbed wire <laughs> Who's reboot? in your barbed wire reboot? Oh, shit, I don't know. Uh, well, if it's... If, if, if we're free to not have the buxom blonde... I think you kind of have to. Look at this if cover. you have to go with the buxom blonde... You kind of have to. Um, Karen Winnick. Hmm. Or Catherine Winnick. Who's Catherine, she, Winnick? Catherine Winnick is the blonde who is in the show Vikings, but you would recognize her more as a busty blonde in the underrated but still fantastic um, uh, horror movie. Oh, what's it called? Not Touch of Evil. Not uh, Satan's Little Helper. Huh. Don't know her. Uh, she was in Satan's Little Helper. She's probably a little too small to fit that part, but she is probably my... Someone was to ask me, like, buxom blonde, it would be her. She's not overly buxom. So, as I was looking this, looking up the, the uh, barbed wire thing, it uh, had a, a 
a picture you know, of Pamela Anderson that said Valerie Irons. I'm like, Valerie Irons? <laughs> like, oh, right. She had a TV series called VIP. Yeah, yeah, VIP. Yeah. It was actually entertaining. It was good. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a bad I, show. I watched like a good amount of the first season. <laughs> I liked the other chick that was in VIP. She was a taller. Yeah, chick. the brunette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was hot. Yeah. She was like the brains, I think. Yeah. So, um, but I don't know. That's who I'd pick, Catherine Winnick. Catherine Winnick. Huh? Yeah, you'd have to look her up. I'm not. Really she sure. she's, she doesn't totally look the part, but I think she'd pull. She'd have to dye her hair about it, say Anna Kendrick, but that's just because I want to see Anna Kendrick showing a lot more skin. Yeah, yeah, so. but I think she's a little too short. Maybe, but she's also I think, fairly busty. Yeah, they could do incredible things with uh, camera angles now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I yeah. think I think she's got the physique. Otherwise, she may be a little short, but I think she could pull it off. All right, what's yours? Um, or so, Charlize Theron. Mm, maybe no, because. And the reason I'm going to say no is because of Aeon Flux. Flux. Ah. Let's say that. Fair enough. Because she's like, I don't want to wear that outfit revealing all my skin and stuff. <laughs> like, well. Okay. Yeah, see, well, that's the problem. Why are you in this movie? You're right. Yeah. See, that's the problem. I don't know who all has a stick up their ass about that kind of thing either. But, yeah, uh, no, my, my first choice would be Anna Kendrick. But. So, I would say, and I, I, I'm, I really need a little bit more thought to this, but I think I just had to just grasp something out of the air. I think I'd probably say uh, Katie Sackhoff. Okay, yeah, Katie Sackhoff would be a really good bitch putting herself. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) she honestly, she's the one that's built for it better than any other of our choices. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. And I think she could like her demeanor. Yeah, um, she could be uh, a badass. Yeah, 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 Mm -hmm. she was awesome in Riddick. Hey, ghoulies! Ghoulies. That's those are ghoulies. Mm. All right then. Well. So I guess we should probably kill this recording. Um, hate to hate to leave people hanging, staring at a blank screen. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, hope hope you uh, were entertained by this movie. That was definitely a movie. It, it was, was a, movie. a movie. I still don't understand what the point of it was. And, how, <laughs> and, and why no one in the movie was like, she's like, you've got to get me out of the country because I helped develop super AIDS and they want to use it. <laughs> like, like what? Wait, why the fuck were you making Super AIDS? <laughs> really? What were you planning on doing with Super AIDS? It's like yeah. a Rick and Morty thing. It's like, no, 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 the reason why it's not important, just get me out of the country. <laughs> you gotta get me out of the country. And I, I, I developed it, no other questions. And suddenly, like, Jeff Goldblum showed up and like, you were so busy wondering whether you're not good, you didn't think about you should. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So, yeah, this uh, was a movie. It was. Alright, so, uh, yeah, thank you all. Hope you enjoyed watching it with us as opposed to just watching it by yourself and she's got some nice legs um (laughs) and uh we will catch you next time bye everybody bye later babe don't call me babe